ready to be cooked up and then I'm gonna let this boil for maybe five minutes or so to let the uh, vegetables kind of soften a bit more. But yeah, so that's what it looks like so far. And I'm ready to eat. of my spaghetti balls. They're in there. I pop the uh, What you hear in the background is the um, red crisping. Or I should say toasting. Probably go to bed because I'm exhausted. Hi, everybody. So I made it to the bed. <laughs> um, those stairs are something. They're quite steep, and the opening is quite narrow. So it's not terrible, and it's not like. Oh, Like you're gonna fall down because it's so narrow that like if you were to fall back you would hit the other side of it if that makes sense but man like it's not like I'm not out of breath but from that I'm more so out of breath from just trying to maneuver around like because I can't stand up in the loft like have you ever kind of been in a loft where you can't stand up. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm in my pajamas, my fleece, cozy pajamas. The plan for tomorrow is to leave 
by nine for stuff like and then he'll get there by ten he'll go as well he'll either do a day pass or a haircut which comes from the day pass I'm going to if the haircut happens I really want to um like do something a bit more gothic because I've been trying to I'm the styles that I'm attracted to the most are bohemian and gothic and both are one is a lack of color and one is all about color um so my style in general is eclectic like everything about me is eclectic my spiritual practice and design tastes, my uh, whatever. So, but the two things that I gravitate towards most is Gothic Bohemian. I think I know that's a thing because a lot of the Gothic Bohemian things are kind of like, it's Bohemian, but it's either like black or like neutral colors or like, it, it's a very niche thing. Um, but in terms of hairstyles, I don't really know really what to kind of expect, I guess, um, in terms of, like, hair. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe it's time to do, like, a shaved undercut bit. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe... I need more layers or that like wolf shag cut everybody seems to be doing. Um, I don't know, but I'm ready for an uplift of my hair because I've been rocking a blend cut since COVID because it's really easy to do. My mom can do it at home. Um, there's no awkward grow out or anything like that. It's just very plain looking and I, my hair has grown enough where I feel like I can do something different. I'm not entirely sure what, but I'm missing, I miss my edgy look because I, when I had short hair, I, it was like to the side and I, I crunched it to get it, um, curly. So I have, um, some sort of, like, texture to it, and it made it look really edgy and a little bit more grown up, because I feel like when I have short hair, I look m way younger. Um, so maybe I need to, do, like, crimp my hair now or something and do, like, an undercut. Something with blaze, because I think that's the bohemian part of it, and then... Not curls, but ways, and then maybe something gothic. Um, anyway, I want to save my battery, so I'm going to end this clip, and I'll see you in the next one. Good morning, everybody. Um, uh, I slept pretty well, actually. It was really cozy. I brought my wool blanket, so I just wrapped myself up in that, and... Fell asleep, it was really cozy, um, so nothing wrong there. My camera battery seems to be dying, so I'm going to try to charge that, and I'll have breakfast, so a little bit more <coughs> battery power for today, um, but yeah, I'm excited to go to Snowflake and go to the spa. Here's my deliciousness of the omelet um, I had this yesterday, and it was absolutely divine. I cooked it in garlic butter with parsley, and uh, it was a pretty divine meal for pulling something together. And then this is Vermont cheese, and I have bread. Um, so that is, yeah, that's... Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's my breakfast for today. Um, I, I slept pretty well last night. Uh, I did wake up a few times. 
Um, and I woke up this morning with a really bad back. So I'm not really sure what that's from, either from driving too much or the work I did on Thursday in the Dini home or whatever. But it's pretty stiff right now. Um, it's not terrible in terms of pain, but it's hard to move around and get comfortable. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Uh, I just put my leg in my, in my lap and it hurt. Um, so the ride home is going to be interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any pain medicine with me. Um, I took my anxiety medication for my headache last night and I went away. So I definitely think the headache was from anxiety. Um, yeah, so the ride home is going to be interesting. And then I'm not sure if I will be working on the trailer tomorrow because of my back. <sighs> but, um, yeah, so the spa was really nice last night, or yesterday. The rest of my body feels pretty good, but because my back has been a deep-rooted issue for a while now, of course, a hot tub, um, a treatment is not going to fix that. Uh, but I have been wanting to get back into doing getting massages so I'm trying to figure out if I can get a trade um, for a massage because uh, I definitely need to do that with my lower back being a issue um, yeah so that's my update I'm planning to leave about noon so in about three or four hours and um, yeah, and then maybe check out Montpelier and a few stops along the way, take pictures and stuff and things like that. So it might be a while before I actually get home, but I'm really excited to be going home actually. I really miss my kitty and, um, it's been hard to travel because I miss him so much when I'm not, um, home and yeah so oh that just hurt a lot <coughs> um so yeah so i uh so yeah that's my update um i'm going